Are you an empath? Let's talk about what might make you an empath. Do you know things? Do you know things before you're told? What about being in public places? Do you feel really overwhelmed in a crowded place, almost claustrophobic? Do you feel other people's emotions and maybe sometimes take them on as your own? That can be a big one. A lot of empaths are diagnosed with depression and anxiety, but a lot of the time it's because they're taking on other people's emotions as their own. What about watching violence or cruelty on TV or even if it's not real, even if it's just a fictional story? Is it hard? What about knowing when somebody is lying to you? Can you tell? You might be an empath. Can you pick up the physical symptoms of somebody else? Get sympathy pains? Do you suffer from digestive disorders or lower back problems because your solar plexus chakra, which is the lower abdomen, is ungrounded? If you don't know you're an empath, you're probably ungrounded and you could experience this. Are you always looking out for the underdog? If there's somebody sad, suffering, being bullied, are you right there to help them? Because you just can't stand seeing somebody so upset and you feel like you need to help? Probably because you can feel it. Do people tell you their problems? Like even strangers? And sometimes it's to the point where you just don't want to listen anymore because it tires you out? Are you tired a lot? Yeah, your energy will be drained if you're an empath because you feel a lot more than the average person. Do you have an addictive personality? Alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, anything like that? You have to be careful. Are you drawn to healing, holistic therapy, anything metaphysical, energy? That's because you're an empath. You feel energy a lot more than the average person who doesn't. Empaths are creative. Singing, dancing, acting, drawing, writing, creating. Empaths need to create. They love nature and animals. Empaths are happiest when they're in nature, and you notice that they always have a pet. I have four cats. Empaths need to be alone sometimes, okay? If an empath doesn't get regular t amounts of time to be alone, they're gonna go stir crazy. Do you get bored or distracted really easily if you're not stimulated? An empath can't stand to be bored. An empath will find it almost impossible to do things they don't enjoy. It feels like living a lie. And the one thing an empath has a very hard time doing is being fake. Empaths are passionate about honesty, probably because they can feel it. And they're always looking for answers and knowledge. You'll notice an empath wants to learn everything. We never stop learning, and empaths know this. We like adventures, freedom, travel. Empaths are free spirits. You can't hold them down. Another thing is we hate clutter. I am one of these people for sure. I can't stand clutter, and every time I declutter, it feels so much better. Empaths love to daydream. They could stare into space for hours. I'm one of these people. If I'm, not, if I'm not reading and learning, I'm imagining. And that is the key to creating a good life. It starts in the mind. Empaths do not like rules and control. Don't tell me what to do. Let me choose for myself. Empaths have a knowing that we have a choice. And they won't settle for being bossed around. 
some empaths carry a little extra weight even though they don't necessarily overeat. This is a form of protection to stop the negative incoming energy. Empaths are excellent listeners. If you're an empath, you have a natural intolerance to narcissism. The funny thing though is we attract narcissists like crazy. But yes, somebody who doesn't think about others and only thinks about themselves is the type of person that an empath cannot stand to be around. The last thing is an empath may seem moody. Some of them are even called bipolar, um, but really it's just you'll be feeling one way and then suddenly you feel a different way. That's feeling somebody else's emotion. So that's just a few of many, many empathic traits. These are the ones that I have personally felt myself, which is why I chose these to share today. But you can do your own research, which everybody should do anyways. Do your own research. Maybe you're an empath. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for clicking the like button if you liked it. And thank you for subscribing if you want to see what else I come up with.